Welcome. My name is Sonia Nelson, and today is March 5th in the first week of Lent. We are all cheerleaders. And he said to him, follow me. Luke chapter 5, verse 27. Have you ever said something and then immediately wished you hadn't? If so, then you know the power of thoughtless words. They can crush, demean, and intimidate in seconds. Disparaging remarks, accusations, and complaints get attention, but often at a price. Positive words, on the other hand, can affirm, encourage, and motivate. People who have good relationships know the power of their words. They realize that those around them can never receive too much encouragement. People around us are starving for encouragement. If we want good relationships, we need to learn how to be a genuine encourager. It doesn't take much to encourage someone. It can be a short note that says, I prayed for you today, or a card in the mail, or voice message that says, I was thinking of you. It only takes a minute and it has a ripple effect helping the person to feel appreciated and valued. Simple to do. Write genuine notes of encouragement to your family or friends. Share special quotes, poems, or verses. The best thing about notes is, is there is no cost involved. You can leave them on pillows and bulletin boards, in lunch boxes, or on car windows. Gentle encouragement builds confidence and is much appreciated. And so we close in prayer. Jesus, my friend, when life is overwhelming, help me remember to lighten someone else's day with an encouraging word. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, and have a blessed Lenten season.